I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira. Two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. Well, good morning guys. Today is shopping day. So Nat is gonna do a run to Little, our favorite shop. And I'm gonna take the doggies for a walk. I think we're gonna go to a little beach that we found yesterday evening. So shopping for Nat, doggy walk for James. There's my bags and there's the two troubles. Look how big they're getting. Oh my gosh. They're only a couple, three months old and they're enormous. Look at this they nugget. Little nugget. Look at this nugget, he's massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got them both. <laughs> <laughs> Two nuggets. All right, down we go. All right, let's go. All right, I've got my backpack. I've got this wheelie thing, which comes in handy when going shopping. And it's a bit of a miserable day here. Uh, it's kind of overcast. I'm hoping it doesn't rain on me, but you never know. Uh, James is actually going to take me on the dinghy to a marina, which is actually closer to the little. So it cuts my walk of an hour down to, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes maybe. So it's pretty good. All right, the dogs are out, ready. Let's see how well we get in the dinghy now. You're really good, aren't you? Here comes Kira. Oh, it's so perfect. Down you go. Oh, he's, he's still struggling with the back of the legs. <laughs> Something we haven't done before on the dinghy is we use the choke because it's so cold. Yeah. Good. All right, we're rolling. So this is where I'm being dropped off and James is going to check for some packages. All right. So that's what we're doing here. The marina's called Dockside. They're so lovely here. Um, allowed us to send some, use their address to send some packages over. So that's what we've done. And uh, it's actually their life jacket. So uh, we definitely need that. And then you guys are going to the beach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have fun at the beach. Thank you. Bye guys. Hi. huge shop oh yeah i took i walked there and then took an uber back so it worked out really well uh we got some doggy toys <laughs> which we're pretty excited to show these guys and these guys are you excited to see me are you excited to see me yeah not really all right let's get this stuff inside all right But we are going to go now to the marina and collect the netting that's going around the whole boat. So we're going to go and collect that and then go to the beach again with these two troubles because they are awake now. Okay, second walk. Let's get ready.
Come all you young rounders. We got it. There we go. We got our netting for the doggies. This is to hold you guys and make you stay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little tails wagon. Yeah. Take heed where you ramble. Or too soon you will go. Way up on the hillside where the new flowers grow. Early met in the springtime, the sun sinking low. Two star crossed lovers in the still melting snow. Good morning, guys. Today we are on the move again. It's a pretty special day because we are going to go to a marina. Now, we don't normally do marinas. If you've watched us, it's very, very rare. And unless we're doing boat works or anything like that. Well, on the way up to the ICW, we didn't stop once in a marina. So now on the way back down, because we've got the puppies, we've got a ton of laundry to do. We need water. We actually, it's so cold that we need some hot water. And we only get hot water to be able to have a shower when the engine's running, which when we're traveling, we can. But with the puppies, we haven't been able to be showering while the engine's on. So it's been a little bit of a learning process. So we're gonna go and stay in this marina. It's called Osprey Marina, and it's in the middle of Waccamaw, Wacoma. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. National, like the wildlife park. So we're really, really excited for that. Um, it's nestled right in the bush, essentially. And um, we should be arriving in about five, four and a half hours. And we've got the current with us, which is helping us. The dogs have been out for a walk this morning. So they are tired out for a sleep right now, which is good. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. We'll show you the marina when we're there. Always knows of its prey. And her father's old pistol. Fortunately, today is a little more complicated than our normal ICW run. So we have got an extremely, extremely high tide. Um, king tide as it is. So what's happened is this part of the river that normally has all of this debris on the shore, like logs and branches and all that, they've been captured into the river here, into the ICW, and we've already seen a log that was as long as the boat, and you know, these things can damage your prop, prop shaft, you know, hit the boat, and cause a damage, so I'm really having to pay attention here um, to make sure I don't hit any of these logs. Basically driving like I'm drunk just to get around them but uh, yeah so it's gonna make today a little bit more challenging than normal luckily we only have the ooh, there's one 25 miles to go so. we are about to arrive to Osprey Marina they're not answering on the radio and they're not answering on the phone so we'll just have to get in there and hope that they have a slip for us for tonight. Fingers crossed. So we're in and it's what? Laundry time. Laundry time. And the dogs are loving the dog. Oh, aren't they ever? Okay. So we've got all our laundry with us. This is a great little walk for the doggies as well. So it's beyond perfect. There's a little go cart that you can use, which we might use on the next load of washing that we have to do <laughs> to go back and forth. So that's pretty cool. Look at this. this is wonderful. It's so calm. <laughs> Provided by Osprey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
So one of the cool things when staying at Osprey Marina here in South Carolina is if you're on the outer dock, because it's kind of like you come in and it's a big lagoon area and on the path in, there's a big long dock for like bigger boats. Um, if you're out on that dock, they give you a free golf buggy to use to get around the lake back and forth from the shop or going to the parking lot. So yeah, these are free to use. So we've got kind of like our own personalized golf buggy to use, which is incredible. So yeah, just driving around. <laughs> it's amazing. The, oh, have you got a treat, guys? Here, it's not me. Look at that. Oh, wow. Isn't that lucky? <laughs> Anyways, we're off to do more laundry. So much laundry. Yeah. Laundry. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hill side. Saw two mounds of I'll always remember And I'll never go Back up the hill With the laundry complete, it's time to get on with our next job, which is to install our safety netting for the puppies. How's it going? Oh, full lumbago, aka back pain from being hunched over. But I gotta say, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? It is, look at that. We've only done a quarter of the boat. <laughs> but, you know, this part is us figuring out how to do it. They're experiencing heat for the first time, and they're both panting and eating the fender that we've just taken off to be able to do this. We got ours custom made from a company called Just For Nets and they are excellent, very cheap. We'll be interested to see how these handle the constant sun when we get to the tropics. For these ones, we paid $100 basically, including shipping and tax. We got two 46 foot sections and uh, yeah, we'll uh, check back in in 12 months time and see how it's holding up. It took pretty much all day as any job does on a sailboat. Ended up threading the lifelines and we just wove them through the top. We wove them through the middle to create some vertical tension. We've just used some zap straps to secure a few different spots, but overall, great. Yeah, we are officially now one of those sailboats that has lifeline netting. <laughs> I always kind of despised seeing sailboats with lifeline netting. I thought it took away from the lines and everything, but uh, the safety of our puppies is paramount. Well guys, it's nearly the end of the day. I've just started making dinner. James is just about to finish the netting for the boat, so win-win. And we just got this brought over from Osprey Marina, which is like a little goodie bag that they give you when you stay here, which it's the first marina we've had that and it's so lovely of them and it's such a nice little treat to get something like that. You don't normally get that at marinas. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.30 a.m., something like that. There's a 6.30? <laughs> and we are up, because we're taking the dogs into Charleston. Wapo Bridge, this is the fourth sailing vessel in line, 7.30, 9.30. 